Here we go, starting part 11. Got Hellgirl out there, and time to start on the next pile. For starters, we begin out with a classic, one that almost everybody's heard about. Yeah, season 1 of Sailor Moon. This would be the ADV Uncensored release just before they lost um, their uh, copy, their uh, distribution rights. As you can see, this has got a lot of DVDs in it. This is the entire complete first season right here. <sighs> Fortunately, somebody sold it to um, Hastings. And then, of course, got more Sailor Moon where that came from, season two. And those are the only ones that ADV had the rights to, if I'm not mistaken. Yay. Lots of episodes on here. <sighs> what can I say? Glad I got those when I did. Just before. And then you have Sailor Moon S. A.K.A. Season 3. And this one was Genion. I guess it's a good thing I didn't get this when they were close to running out of money, I guess. Whatever caused them to stop releasing DVDs. I guess even though I have this here and talked about it as a super well-known anime... I didn't mention that. I enjoyed it. I even downloaded and watched Sailor Stars. I hope they release that on DVD sometime soon. Because otherwise, we stop at Supers. Uh, haven't seen these DVDs for a long time. It feels like it's been forever since I last watched Sailor Moon. I'd almost worry that my, uh, that everything I remember about it might have atrophied by now. Do I even remember what happens? I don't know. I guess I've got this too. They call them movies. I don't know if they were officially called movies or... If uh, these were just really long OVAs or something. To be honest, I'm a bit confused by it. But oh well. At some point I watched them. Don't remember much about them now. It's unfortunate. I don't think you can ever watch and remember every single anime out there. You can try. But you begin forgetting things. Samurai Horror Tales. I don't know. It was kind of... Eh, not as creepy as I watched, wanted to. Except for this one. I think this one, this story, and Samurai Horror Tales, I think it was so popular, they had their own spin-off series based upon that story alone. I don't know. If you avoid it, I guess I don't blame you. But it'd be nice if you checked out that one at least. That one was good. Goblin Cat. Here's one. I've had this DVD for a long time. Saint Tail DVD 1. At some point I realized, oh crap, I might not be able to find the rest of these. Hence, I went on a D uh, DVD purchasing spree. I found two, three, four, five, and then they decided to put the last 21 episodes on a thicker multi-DVD release. They stopped subtitling it as well. Or, I mean, dubbing it. That's okay. This was a a nice, uh, just a kind of a real soothing anime to watch, maybe? Maybe not super, just... Ooh, now this one was great. Mushishi. Uh, 
two, three, and I really enjoyed this one. I guess I'm not entirely sure if I could describe it, but I'm pretty sure if you're out there and you've seen this year, you're like, yeah, that was a good series. It's kind of like... Like an episode of the X-Files set in a more medieval Japan without some of the more crazy stressful elements, I guess. I don't know if that's actually a really good way to describe it, because X-Files might not have been good because of its mystery components, Glass Fleet. You know, this one was just weird. I mean, yeah, it was weird. It's hard to tell if I really particularly enjoyed it or not. I mean, because it was just so weird. In this case, I couldn't tell. I'd say that probably makes it an okay anime. Maybe. I mean, like, maybe as in... You enjoyed it. There's, I think there's good reason to enjoy it. But I can also see really good reason to not care for it. Anyways, that's a nice quick pile compared to last time, I think. Maybe it's because the last pile had a lot of different stuff in it. Whereas this one, I can finish up with Witch Hunter Robin. Now, this is a bit flimsy, but it's supposed to look like a spell book, right? Because of witches and whatnot. And related to that, I guess there's this little tombstone thing with pins in the back. I'll probably have to fix that uh, in between videos. Otherwise, the DVDs for the release are inside of it. This was a good series. I'm not entirely sure why. Hmm. <sighs> wow. I think we're making good progress here, don't you? If we keep this up, maybe I'll actually be able to get a... Uh, one more pile down before dinner. Alright, on to the next.